Okay, we're at Freedom High School. Falkir scrimmaging Freedom. obscuring our view. Good stick play. Ball here. Working the sidelines. Settle. Back to lock. Good passing schemes. Good inside shot inside by Maldonado. That's what we need to see from her. No score. Lock 
button back. Apologize for the tent, but I can't I can't move that. So we're gonna go incognito here. That's it. Maldonado. Good passing. This is lock under the tent. I noticed Cree came in from the 50 yard line, hustled, and made a play. Coming out for Falk gear. Good drive. Try to work inside now. Nutmeg. Send.
Yeah. We're winding down on this first quarter. Locked, pass into herself. Okay, scoreless tie in this first quarter, and they'll just be playing a half against Freedom. Stopped by Maldonado there. This is good, right in here. Gorg. Lock the steel. Dockers need some corners. It's, it's right there. Number 11 with a great, great play there, Rodriguez. for a football. This kid is good. Very shifty, very evasive. Save as a
Okay, Falkir survives that. Good, solid strike. Sends it in, we need a corner from that. To open the space. Shot on goal by Settle. Come on, get yourself a corner, Phil. Defensive shield in their circle on defense. Make it makes it difficult. Just under seven minutes remaining in this second quarter. Should be fuck your ball. It was a hack. I don't like the backwards passes, although they're going to lock. We're in the zone where we can't see the ball. Somebody from Falker should be there. Lock. Lock. <laughs> she held it just a little too long. But there should be somebody there with her. And I don't see it one. And there ought to be a players jumping on that from Falkir, sitting back. Get yourself a corner, girls. Take a shot at a difficult angle. Follow your shot in. Yeah, 
get a football. Keep it in the circle, girls. Keep it in the circle. Should be Falkier ball. It is. Send it in. Okay, this is the player they got to stop. Now we're in trouble. Virginia. It's a good place to go, a good place to live, a good place to raise your family. Oh yeah, good old Warrington. What a nice, nice American town. Come on, you got her. It's got very nice roads. Drive your car all around town. Look around. Look around at all the nice good people. Wave to them and say hello. All of the people in Warrington are very nice. All of the people in Warrington are very good. Oh yeah, Warrington, it's a heck of a very good place in the whole wide world. La 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 la, Warrington, it's got a good school system, teaching the little good kids. Cross in. Little kids gotta learn how to read and write. They go to school and they learn it very nice. La 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 la, Score. Warrington, Virginia. What a nice, nice location. Looks like Lindsay Cree. Warrington, Virginia is the best place in the whole world. Okay, Falk here won the first scrimmage two to nothing against Freedom. And they advance and take on Herndon. Gorg with a good effort there. This will be settled. Flips it in. Mitty should have been back for that. Okay, 
Herndon gets their first corner. Herndon goes on top, one to nothing, a nice drive off the top. Good hit, that gets it going. Settle, Grady. Maldonado turns it over. Cree coming up to make a play. Nobody there defending. Nice save by the Falk your goalie.
Tormos. Okay, Falkir down one to nothing. Very nice shot off a penalty corner. Put Herndon on top. There's the kind of hit they need. Rodriguez, settle.
I know you guys are in a big rush to take all your stuff off, but why don't we stop and listen? Okay, let's just stop, listen, we'll have time. All right, I promise you. Okay, so a couple of things that have to change very quickly to be very successful in our season, okay? First, let's talk about the defensive line. All right, I don't like to scream at anybody, and when I do, I'm not yelling at you to put you in a bad mood or put you in a bad place. I am really trying to correct the problem. There is a serious problem when we are 60 yards off of an offensive team, okay? So defense. When we are on offense, and we are all up in here, okay, one of our defenders, if the ball's on this side, has got to step up here. That's very difficult to play AB11. Does that make sense? So you've got to push up. You cannot be afraid. You cannot be afraid. And, go ahead. Here's one thing you have to think of when you're thinking about defensively. If you're standing at the 20, and the ball is over there, and even at the 20, you're giving them, if they break free, you're giving them the whole field. You're not even challenging them in that point. You're just saying, it's okay, I'm not gonna defend until the 20 yard line. Wherever you're standing, that's where you're telling that team, you can dribble all the way to me, and then I'll worry about you. And then if they get by you at the 20, you're toast. You, if they get by you at the 50, turn around and get back. You still got time. If you're dawdling down here, sitting here thinking you're gonna pick them off suddenly at the 20 and they get by you, you're done. There's no, you're not gonna, the, your odds of recovering there are much smaller. Yeah, now but they're if in your you're circle. pushed up, and our defense, our last defensive person is at the 50 and she gets beat, run. You got 50 yards to catch that girl, and you guys are fast. So push up, play the game. You have to be part of the game. Otherwise, it's 8 v 11. And you're, you're no good. You, you may as well be off the field, honestly. Because the girls that just lost the ball up here on the 50, they'll chase it. Okay? You have to be part of the game. And offense, when the ball comes down to defense, what do you have to do? Part of the game. You can't cherry pick up here. You can't dawdle at the 50. You've got to get back to where the action is. When the ball starts moving, you start moving. And so a lot of times we're getting the ball, we're making a good stop, but there's no change in momentum. You've got to take off. You have to take off hard and then hard release. You cannot be driving balls that are still. You cannot be driving balls standing. You should be in motion when you send your drive. If you're not in motion when you're sending your drive, that's why you're not getting power, okay? You're not getting power because you're not moving. It is a follow through movement, all right? Some of us are doing that and others not so well. So we're gonna do a couple drills to work on that a little bit more, all right? But you guys did play really well, and we did move people around a lot. I mean, this is what this is all about, is finding new positions, finding our weaknesses, finding what we gotta work on. We gotta work on being strong in your I mean, we got a lot of people in here 
that you to, that need to be stronger hitters. And I mean, even on the release, not a drive. We're not just talking about a drive, but we're talking about you're down already, the ball's on your stick. You should be able to release it, and it should go with power. And it should go 30 or 40 yards. And you should be able to lift it just this much off the ground so you can get that advance, right? And if you're doing that, it's only going 5 or 10, right? That's something you need to work on. So we got to do some drills where we're really working on just hits, hits, hits. Consistency with more power, okay? A little consistency with more powers. Goalies. Fantastic job. Really good job out there. Nice work, okay? All of you guys, teamwork-wise, great job. You guys are playing well as a group, okay? For as little time as we had together, there is definitely a good unity in this group. And you guys are flexible and moving around um, and communicating, so that's really good. So be proud of yourselves. Those were, those were, those were two really solid games, okay? You got yourself a nice little win, and it didn't, didn't look terrible. You corrected corrected the second 15 and you had opportunities okay so we'll get there we do need to work a little bit on forcing corner plays when you got five people in there in your way hit the ball into their feet so you can get a corner there are five people in your way okay so we need to learn, work on forcing corners and then our defense has to work on getting their feet out of the way because we're getting an awful lot of corners based on just bad position we're, we're bodying to body instead of stick to stick and that's what's happening we're just getting a little a little caught up in our feet um, do you feel like sometimes defense that like your stick is really close to your feet instead of close to the outside reaching? And that's all that's happened. So. Oh, oh yes. We yelled that. We yelled that. I want to see how many of you guys were almost close to the pay and your stick was up way high. Um, I just wanted to highlight on a good thing. Um, I'm really proud of everyone for using positive communication with your teammates because it really makes a difference. And it doesn't just add to just, you know, wanting to win the game. It also just helps with the team and the And I didn't hear anybody like that. They're just being like, pardon my language, but like a bitch by anybody else. It was all just like complete kindness. And it's really, really refreshing and nice to see. So, I'm just proud of this. Yeah.